Hi everyone, I'm down on the River Froome in Dorset. My good mate Guy says I sent me some Mayfly pants, he's tied himself, and he's asked me to give him a test drive. Looks like no one's been over it for a long time. Yeah, no one's, no one's dropped in here this season, that's for sure. straight away that was huge anyway kit i've got a new um guideline fario cdc double taper four weight line and it's on a, a four weight uh gray stream flex rod whether to use an eight foot or a six foot it's that time of year where everything gets quite overgrown and a six foot rod can give you a slight advantage uh, and get the the line casting under canopy and under vegetation but i've opted for the eight foot um the leader is a tapered um mono leader with a fluorocarbon tippet which i'll add a little bit of clay to to help get that tippet to sink good thing about the fluorocarbon i've got mixed mixed feelings on it it's it's good because it takes on water and it's more prone to sinking for better presentation but i find that the knots break more readily that's four pound tippet material as well there's been lots of mayfly coming off the water but i haven't seen many yet Let's do a blind cast under that overhanging tree on the opposite bank. It's an old olive that I had on from the other day. There we go, fish on straight away. That's a spot of luck. Gone down river. Oh, he's, oh, he's off. Barbless hook, of course. All right, so let's look at these lovely flies that Gaius has tied me. Thanks for these, Gaius. You can tell he's an old mate, he's called me Chaz, no one's called me that since school. Oh, there's also some um, flies that uh, Simon Pritchett tied me. Really simple but effective pattern. Still got a little bit of uh, foam on the barb look, so those need crushing down. Proper pliers to crimp the barb. You're kidding yourself if you think you can do it with these little pitiful, um, you know, trout forceps. They just haven't got the, the required crunch, especially on the wider gauge hooks. But yeah, thanks for those, Simon. I'll give those a go as well later. I want something quite buoyant because there's quite a lot of water moving through. Yeah, it looks like he's used moose hair in the tail, not um, pheasant tail. Look at that. Is that a foam body? I think it is. He did mention Oliver Edwards being a design that he was imitating, but that's um, lacking hackle underneath. And the idea is to say it sits flatter on the surface. But a big foam body like that, that's not going to go under. Looks like a golden pheasant tail with a bit of uh, fritz thrown in it for good measure. Yeah, let's try that. What do I make of that fly? Really buoyant. Not overly happy with the tail with the fritz on it, if I'm honest. Um, because it's separating from the, uh, from the pheasant tail. That's sitting beautifully, but it wasn't always going through like that. Next up is a very old fashioned classic pattern. French partridge. So all these are mayfly ephemera danica imitation patterns that I'm using. Folds up on the cast. Doesn't tend to create so much line twist. There we go. Off. Long distance unhooking. I don't like to actually handle the fish, so by letting them go early like that means that minimal damage is caused to them. Ah, good. So it sits much more in the water surface and uh, it's less buoyant. Yeah, uh, the fish quite like to sit in the crease and intercept things as they're coming downstream, but when they're really on the, on the lunch, they'll, they'll actually sit in the most unlikely slack water, uh, just eating the nymphs as they come out of the mud. Flies are working, it's the angler that's not. It's, just, it's a bit more promising actually, but I've still not seen a rising fish. So many mayfly coming off the water, yet so few rises. Having a nightmare. It's been a funny old spring because the river has been in flood most of April. You would have thought the fish would have settled down, the fly life would have been coming off steadily over the last couple of weeks. Perhaps they've had a thumping from anglers, but it's no excuse really, is it? 
the fish aren't doing much really so perhaps it's just that time of day and I should stop giving myself a hard time <laughs> right next up let's go for one of these emergers Maze no fish arising to be honest it's just weird So relieved to catch one. The other one that took my fly that I fluffed was much, much bigger, but it's still feeding. Even though I think it's tucked itself into the bushes. Yeah, these fish have definitely been fished for and they're being really cagey. They don't want to take flies off the surface when there's such an abundance of food down below. They definitely seemed more happy with Gaius's uh, emerging pattern than they did any of the dry fly patterns. And they're actually chasing this one. I feel like I ought to change it just because that fish has seen it. So on to the next one. Right, on to Simon's fly. It's just a very traditional mayfly pattern. Uh, not interested. There he goes again after that one. It's after the real mayfly coming down the river. See that one coming off the water? He just does not want to know. Well, that's that. Sorry, Simon, your fly was sinking too often. Um, probably because it's quite turbulent water here. But, uh, next up is Geiss's. Yeah, he's cut all the, all the hackle away to make it flat. I like the look of this. It's 5.30. Maybe as that sun lowers, the fish might start to be a little bit more obliging. The good thing about these big buoyant flies is you can roll cast without drowning the fly. No, he's spooked. Um, that's a tree. <laughs> I really am making a right fuzz of this, I've got to say. Hey, just a very cagey rise on the right hand side. Buffer. with my head man. Alright next up Gars is Mohican with a moose hair on an RX hook. believe how hard I had to work for that fish but that's what makes it so rewarding all right let's get it unhooked and uh, get it back what a beautiful fish for you too what a... gosh it's getting back beautiful fish so it's really just a case of standing here and waiting for a fish to show itself Missed him. <laughs> Wasn't expecting him to come up, to be honest. 
I'll probably just need to fish for the longer leader and a finer tippet. Yeah, let's get out and warm up. That's the fly that did the job. Thank you, Gaius. What an insane amount of fly life. Glad I've stayed till the evening. I can't believe how tough it's been. <laughs> I really thought, you know, Duffers thought, like, I've been down here before when it's just this time of year when it's just fish and chuck. I don't know if it's, it's been such a cold, slow spring or what, but whether it's been hammered by anglers in the previous couple of weeks, I've just really struggled. There's loads of mayfly just coming off the surface and no fish are coming up to take them. But isn't it beautiful? It is like being paradise, isn't it, really?